Hey everybody and welcome to this week's video. Last week I left you on the amazing Chirk Aqueduct where Gareth whipped his drone out and got some amazing aerial footage of us going over it. So this week we continue on that journey going through the Chirk Tunnel and heading into Wales towards the biggest, largest, highest aqueduct in the world, the Pontesithli Aqueduct. Pontus, I'm not sure how you say it, I'm going to write it below. But anyway, come with us on that journey and I hope you enjoy. I'll see you later. <laughs> We're now officially in Wales, so yeah, fabulous. Yippee! So now I've blown my own canoe up, I'm towing it and I love it. They just bring a little bit of fun. It's like when we finish packing up from trading, I just have a little jolly in it, and but it's full at the moment of rubbish because we've not had passed any bins for ages and we've been moored for like six days so far when we did some trading. So, um it's now got loads of rubbish in it. So once we get to Fran, if we can get moored up, I'm going to canoe over the aqueduct, the big aqueduct, the big Pontus Sussley aqueduct, and get rid of my rubbish. At least we've got a water point and everything before then though, which is great, because I need to put the washing machine on. There's something really magical about cruising at this time in the morning, because there's no, it doesn't seem to have put, now she's got the uber on there's something really magical about cruising at this time in the morning it's absolutely beautiful absolutely hate them I don't mind I'm not scared of him around it's just all the crap that gets on my boat so if your chimney aims up like mine does from the roof of my boat it blasts all the crap straight onto your boat all that on top of my solar panels is bat poo and spider jitum <coughs> So we've just moored up now, ready to trade for a few days. Um, got water at the water point, ran in, had a shower whilst the boat was filling with water, which is uh, fabulous. So now I'm all full, ready to trade. And the big aqueduct is just around that corner. So this is it, you set up every day and then you're open. I can obviously can only do it in the weekdays really because it's uh, school holidays, but generally I just normally trade at a weekend, Saturday and Sunday between Easter and end of September, Easter and October really. Um, but it's uh, I used to have a very stressful job and this is so much better because I just cruise in my own home to a nice little location and think, oh, it's nice here, I'm gonna put a bit of stuff out. And at the same time as talking to people on the towpath, interacting with kids and having a bit of a laugh, I'm also sometimes taking money. Sometimes I'm getting presents too. A rum and ginger is normally a dark and stormy cocktail, all right? This is an added uh, attraction, which is alcoholic ginger beer. Oh, crabbies, I like a nice crabbies. And a bottle of the best oh one you can get. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. This what? chap was called Mark, a lovely fella. He moored up just to come and see me to give me a bottle of rum absolutely fantastic so i'm going to be making those dark and stormy cocktails from now on 
So apologies to the pirate hat, I'm actually working today. Um, it's one of my trading days, but I just wanted to show you something. I've got a new addition to my fleet. Have a look at this bad boy. So it's a two person canoe and uh, it fits pudding in it as well. So my other one, which was fantastic, somebody offered to buy it. So I sold it to them and used the money and a little bit of savings to buy a bigger one, which I'll get much more use out of. Um, so yeah, so I made up new toys. It's all about the toys. <laughs> Been going on British summertime everyone absolutely horrendous I've been freezing my nips off all day long today been cold I've had my coat on I've got my fire lit we only get probably four weeks of summer in this country as it is and yeah and I've had to have my coat on for most of it anyway I've got my fire lit and I'm nice and toasty now so I'm gonna sit down chill out and watch a bit of telly <laughs> I'll see you in a bit Let's go on an adventure. Hey up everyone, so we're having a, a day off today. We're going on an adventure on our feet, a walking adventure. We are more just up there, just around the corner from this amazing Pontus Sultley aqueduct. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. It's another Thomas Telford, an amazing creation. I think it's the highest there is. It's absolutely spectacular being on here. So absolutely loving it. So I think we're going to go and see what's below it. That's the plan. So, uh, God, I fell in there. But how amazing. It's just breathtaking being this high up next to water and a massive drop. Thank you, love. <laughs> Sorry, just walking past this gentleman. Um, but yeah, absolutely beautiful. So, uh, yeah, you're coming with us anyway. One of my favourite views from the aqueduct is the sewage below. Why would you put that there? Come on. I'm loving this selfie stick. It's a big long one. I got it off Amazon. It was dead cheap. It's a copy one. So one thing about this aqueduct is it's very, very narrow. I'll just show you now. So it's hard when you're trying to pass somebody. So you've seen above. So now we're going to try and get below the aqueduct. We're loving this walk, beautiful scenery and everything like that, but there's one thing that's doing Jackie's head in, and what's that, Jack? Where's the pub? We found ourselves a swing. We're going to the swing. <laughs> this way, this way. Oh, look at this. So the thing is now, so I'm going to, with Puddin, is he's really disabled, he's quite, um, he can't walk very far with his back legs, he keeps falling over and he drags them as well. So now the good thing is with having this pram is we can take him everywhere, um, even to the pub and even in places like this. <laughs> I'm waiting for you. <laughs> waiting for me. We're now at the bottom of the aqueduct and it's there where my finger is. That's what we go over and what we walked over and we're now underneath it. Absolutely amazing. Beautiful round here, absolutely beautiful. Oh, he's loving it. Where have you gone? There you go. Found lots of new smells.
So we're now stored. <laughs> so we're now stored on the, a rock in the uh, river underneath the aqueduct. Now we think this river is the River Dee, is it? I think it is the River Dee. If yeah. it's not the River Dee, I will put it along the bottom. <laughs> but we think it's the River Dee. Um, and the aqueduct goes over the top and we're now at the bottom. We're here. Lovely. Good to be outdoors. And pudding's here. Let me show you pudding. Careful, mate. Oh, we'll sleep tonight, mummy. Let's get pulling this thing up. Oh, got him. Woo! Oh! <laughs> there we go. We're up the mountain. Aren't we pudding? We're up the mountain and ready to continue on our adventure. The thing is, we're already knackered and we're at the bottom, so uh, we've still got to go back up to the top, so that's going to be good fun. So I am stood directly underneath the Ponte Silti Aqueduct, it's way up there, woohoo! And I'm right down below, so now I've got to climb all the way up, so that's going to be going to be fun. So it's absolutely amazing stood at the bottom of this. I'm watching my footing because there's lots of dodgy rocks. But uh, let me just get off this and <laughs> yep. I'm now I'm now on sort of dry land. So yeah, so absolutely amazing. Wow. So uh, I know a few of you have been over it, but how many of you have been to the bottom? The problem is now is I've got to head back up there now, so it's quite a climb. So I know I'll be needing a pint once I get back to the top. I've also got to find Jackie and Pudding because I think I've lost them somewhere. Because I got all excited <laughs> when I saw this little path down to the bottom of the river. Anyway, let's crack on and try and find a pub. You know what? I'm about to touch one of Thomas Telford's creation at the base of the shaft. This is holding up that massive aqueduct full of water that all the boats go over. How awesome is that? It is just amazing to be honest. So we walked all the way over there. It's no wonder I need a good drink now. So we're trading today and we've got another trade boat that's come to join us, the Floating Dollar Lady. These guys are great fun and they sell loads and loads of different stuff. Let me show you a little bit of what they sell. I've never seen so many Russian dolls in my whole life, all different types of Russian dolls. And the rest of the stuff they sell is all for the garden and the outdoors, really lovely stuff. I've not seen anything like this before, absolutely beautiful. So I'm just off now to post these bad orders in here and take the rubbish. And to do that, I need to go across that big aqueduct to Trevor Basin. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's hard kiking on this narrow bit though. The views are just stunning. Absolutely stunning. So I'm just going to lock my boat up now to this ring because obviously um, if I'm going to the post box and the bins, I don't want to nick it. So, so it's not brilliant, but it's just something because I'm only going to be, I'm just going to be out of view for one minute. Orders and the bin bag. So I'm just waiting now. I've got to wait for this boat to come over because obviously I'm not going to fit on the aqueduct in this uh, kayak with a 
big boat coming. <laughs> so we're gonna wait over here now and uh, then I can shoot across. So this is the uh, Pontus Salty Aqueduct by Canoe and I can't really fit my paddles down it but look how beautiful it is. Right on the edge now of the aqueduct. Look at it down there. Look. Woo! I don't know if you can tell from the video, but it's really early in the morning. It's 6 a.m. 6? What am I doing up at 6? Well, I'm going over the big aqueduct today, the Pontus Sicily Aqueduct. So we're going over that today and uh, I'm going to go and turn left to go into Langothlin. Now the thing is there is it's very very shallow and it's very narrow so I don't want to meet an oncoming boat so I'm going to go early and try and stick to that middle channel and try and get there. We'll see. It's an adventure. Every day is an adventure and that's today's so let's go. Here we go kids. Here we go. Massive drop down here, oh my goodness, I mean, I am right on the edge of my narrowboat. If you have a look now, I mean, you can see how far it goes down. Imagine if the side went, or it got an hole in it and you were on it. Oh, bloody hell. Shit yourself, wouldn't you? Guys, it's six o'clock in the morning, but look where I am. Cruising on my boat. I'm on top of the world. Absolutely breathtaking. Woohoo! Yeah! So guys, the biggest aqueduct in the world, and I've walked it, I've been underneath it, I've kayaked it, and I've even took my boat across it. Absolutely outstanding. Have you ever done the aqueduct, the Ponta Sicily aqueduct? Let me know in the comments, but wow, so amazing. But just a massive thank you as well, guys, to all those that bought me a coffee last week. It really, really is helping my channel, so thank you so much. You're just fantastic. I'll see you next week.